Hello YouTube, this is Tutoring Potential and today we are continuing Florida's EOC Geometry Practice Test available from Florida Virtual School. This is part 4. We are starting today with number 16 uh, which involves special right triangles, in this case the uh, 30, 60, 90 right triangle. It wants, uh, number 16 wants the length of side AD, which is this right here. Well, we're going to try and pretty much solve the triangle. If across from the 30 is 12 centimeters, talking about triangle ABC, then across from the 60 is 12 root 3, and the hypotenuse is twice the smallest side, or 24. Now, if I look at triangle a d b this is a right triangle this is still 60 degrees that's 30 degrees so now the hypotenuse of this triangle is 12 which means that across from the 30 is half of 12 or 6 6 centimeters Choice A. I realize that's not zoomed in at all. Let me give you a look at that. Okay. Number 17 has a little bit of trigonometry in it. Uh, to me, uh, you wouldn't, I wouldn't teach the trigonometric functions in standalone geometry course, but again, I'm not uh, administering or responsible for writing the test. It wants BC right here. Uh, if you have a calculator that will do these, you can get a numerical approximation. Um, if I assume that I can't, then let's take a look at my answer choices. Well, let's see. B, C. Call it X. Well, okay. This, if I go from 35 degrees, this is the opposite. X is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent side. So I want something that relates the adjacent to the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of 35 degrees is going to equal 200 meters over x. So solving for x, x cosine 35 equals 200. x equals 200 over the cosine 35. which is uh, choice C. Again, I could get numerical approximations if you're allowed a calculator that does that. Um, I can eliminate tan and sine because I need something that relates to the sort of knowns that I have, this angle and this side length. You could also write it with, you see, you could also write it with secant, but that's okay. We are looking at a ramp, PQ. If 
find the height of the ramp PR in meters, call it X. So now, if this is the angle that I have, which is 23, 23 degrees, I need something that relates the opposite and the adjacent, I'm sorry, and the hypotenuse. Tangent is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So tan 23 equals x over 2,500 meters. x equals 2,500 tan 23. See, which is not an answer choice. So that's, that's what happens when you write a, a multiple choice test. So this is equivalent to 2,500 over cotan 23, which is choice C. Okay. We're looking at a chart. Uh, some of these standardized tests also will provide information in different ways. This is sort of an Excel looking chart. What is X? Okay. Well, it is a square that's not a rectangle. It has all sides equal. Oh, I see. It's telling me the square has all interior angles equal and... Okay. Uh, it wants what characteristic? Okay. A rec okay, a rectangle has... does not have all sides equal. So, we'll just mark that sort of as a maybe. Has angles equal all angles equal to 180? That can't be because both have all angles equal to 90. Has adjacent sides unequal in length? Well, that's the sort of negation that we need. If it said adjacent sides equal in length, then the rectangle would be no. So that's it's, that's given in sort of the negative. Some of an, all interior angles equal to 360. That's that's true for both of these. So basically, uh, a rectangle has its opposite sides are equal, but not all four sides. So that that should be choice A. Let's take a look. There we go. Just the presentation of the information is sometimes the most difficult part of the problem. Number 20, which statement is true? Okay, let's just see if I can identify them. Uh, one is a kite, two is a rectangle, four is trapezoid, uh, three is also a kite. Shapes 1 and 3 are kites if their diagonals intersect at right angles. That looks pretty good. Let's mark it as maybe 2 and 4 are trapezoids if they have at least two pair of parallel sides. Uh, trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides, so it's not choice B. All the shapes of parallelograms, if they have four sides and one pair of parallel sides, parallelograms have two pair parallel sides. So your rectangles, your squares, your parallelograms, not your trapezoids, and not your kites. One, two, and three are parallelograms if they have two pairs of sides of the same length. Well, that just two pairs of sides of the same length. You're going to get that with parallelograms, but it doesn't, it doesn't look like the kite. So, choice A. 
choice. It basically D doesn't represent the shapes given. So A is a better answer choice. Oh, okay, all text, no numbers. Let's see. When comparing a square and a rectangle, one major difference is squares have, choice A, squares must have four 90 degree angles. Rectangles do not have to have all 90 degree angles. Both have all 90 degree angles. Squares have two sets of equal sides. Rectangles have only one set of parallel sides. Well, Rectangles are parallelograms, so they, they too have, have two sets of parallel sides. Squares have four equal angles. Rectangles have two pairs of equal opposite sides. Okay. Um, that's, that, that should be the one we're looking for. Squares have diagonals that bisect each other. Rectangles have diagonals that are perpendicular. Well, I, I, I can draw a rectangle and their diagonals are not perpendicular. If they are, you have a rhombus. So if it were a rectangle that had diagonals that are perpendicular, it would it would be a square. So C is our answer choice. 21. Checker time. Uh, let's see if I can do this one more. When uh okay. Sorry about the shake. When comparing a trapezoid and a kite, kite sort of looks like like well like a diamond like a kite. They both have congruent diagonals. Well, the trapezoid, if it's isosceles, does, but the 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 kite will not. This this will be longer than this. They both have at least one set of parallel sides. Um, they both have four. Con well, they're not both going to have four congruent sides. They don't have to anyway. They both have four sides. They both have. The well, your your trapezoid will have one set of parallel sides. Your kite does not. Even although this one, it sort of looks that way. I don't know. Can I draw one that doesn't? If I do that, now now these don't look parallel anymore. Basically, right, they both have four sides. This is the most general, right? That's all quadrilaterals, D. So that's the easiest to prove true. And in this case, that, that's the one that is true. Uh, this will conclude part four. Next time, part five, we will start with question 23. As always, thanks for watching. And please comment uh, and ask questions uh, in the YouTube channel. Thank you.